Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today I want to uh, give a reminder to remember that there is an enemy that wants to destroy you. And he is the author of confusion. He is the father of lies. So, you know, the word warns us and tells us to know the devices of Satan. So anytime that God says something, Satan is going to come against it. He's going to try to lay snares to destroy, you know, the people. Here's what God says. He says to hear his son. That is salvation. To hear Jesus Christ. To, to hear his words and put them into practice. So when Satan knows that to hear Jesus Christ is salvation. What he does is he makes sure that there are many things for people to hear so you know you, so that you're not singly hearing jesus christ but you're hearing things from all around you from all around the world and anything that is, that you hear from this world is from satan because he's the god of this world so you know the lord brought this up into my heart because my wife and i we had a conversation about you know, raising our dog. And she likes to watch uh, Caesar, you know, Dog Trainer, The Dog Whisperer, and these different shows and things. And, you know, I was just talking to her about who it is that you are hearing. You know, who do you look at as the expert of things? You know, Men, they they claim to be experts in mental health and in and, and medicine. And, you know, people hear the government and, and what they say is the law. You know, they hear the government and, and what they say is justice. You know, there are many things to hear in this world. You know, um, <clears throat> will you believe God? Or will you believe the wisdom of man? In everything, you have to test yourself and, and, and start to be watchful and alert to what is in your heart. What has been built up in you? Do you believe in uh, the wisdoms of men in, in, uh, about bipolar and schizophrenia and multiple person disorder? All of these things, you know, that come from the hearts of men and not from God. Do you will you believe when a doctor tells you that your child has ADHD or you know some other disorder and and where they tell you that these disorders come from? See for me, I choose to believe God. I know that these things are spiritual matters. That these things come from men going their own way. From men uh, making the wisdom of man their their uh, right arm and not God. The word says cursed is the man that makes men their strength. And that's what you do when you hear the wisdoms of man. And you let that be your foundation. From the time that we are born, we are hearing things. You hear your parents. You hear your teachers and what they say and how they teach you science. And they teach you Big Bang theories and, and, and how, the, how things work. See, when you come into the kingdom of God. That's, this is why it's so important to understand that you must come as a little child, ready to deny yourself, ready to lay down everything that has been built up in you so that you can be transformed 
by the renewing of your mind, born again. Because if you if you don't become born again, your mind will remain carnal. And the carnal mind is death. And all of these things that I just mentioned, you know, uh, all of these things of man, all of these experts, all of the wisdom of man is carnality, is death. But you must learn to simply believe God when he says that obedience to him is health. That if you love and fear him, that you will have long life and it's health for you and, and health for your seed. But when you disobey God, that is where sickness comes from. That is where, you know, many, many trials and tribulations come from. Affliction comes to those who do not revere God, who do not follow him. You know, so many things in his life has been taught by Satan. And you have to, you know, hear from the Holy Spirit and, and learn and be transformed, like I said, to learn the truth. And to just simply let God be true and every man a liar. On how you raise your kids, on discipline, you know on how to eat, you know, how much sleep, everything. There's a way. And Jesus Christ said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And you have to learn to hear him in everything. And let everything else become as nothing to you. So with you no know, man today and, and what they're teaching on the coronavirus and, you know, how you need to wear a mask and, you know, all of these different teachings that they give about it. You have to learn to walk by faith and understand that faith is offensive to those who don't have faith. When you, you know, walk around and you are confident in God that you don't need to wear a mask, that you don't, that you can come and gather with those of like faith without fear. That can be offensive to those who don't have faith, who trust in the strength of man, who trust in the wisdoms of this world and the wisdoms of man. That's why they are full of fear. They, they cannot believe God. They cannot believe that though a thousand fall, you know, on this side and, and 10,000 on my right hand, no, nothing evil will come near me. You know, no harm will come near me. They cannot believe it. Because they don't have faith. Because they they cannot trust in, in God with all of their heart and lean not to their own understanding or to the understandings of man. So I wanted to give this message to, to just so that you can begin to look into your heart and see what's built up in your heart. Is it the wisdom that is from above or is it the wisdom that comes from this world and from man be blessed